By now you've probably heard that mortgage rates have hit historic lows and that buyers are still buying despite the global pandemic. Maybe you have never thought much about mortgage rates or maybe you're curious as to what impact that actually has on your buying power. Hey, it's Irene with eXp Realty and in today's episode, we're gonna do some math. I'm gonna break down the difference between buying a home now with today's rate versus a 1% increase. My goal is to help buyers make smart real estate decisions and understand how the market they're potentially buying in plays a big role in this. So fill up your cafe and join me for today's show. What does mortgage rates being at a historic low even mean? First, you might be wondering what exactly defines this as historic low. I'm going to break down the historic mortgage rates by decade so you can see for yourself. In the 1970s, the average rate was 8.86%. In the 1980s, the average rate was 12.7%. In the 1990s, the average rate was 8.12%. In the 2000s, the average rate was 6.29%. In the 2010s, the average rate was 4.09%. And as of June 2020, the average rate is 3.21%. That's crazy, right? So yes, mortgage rates are truly at a historic low as we speak. But how does this affect your actual buying power? First and foremost, I just wanna say, let's be thankful that we aren't reliving the average rates of the 1980s. Time to do some math. So for this exercise, let's say you're buying a house for $350,000 in 2020 and you're putting down 5% and you lock in an average rate of 3.21%. With these calculations using my mortgage calculator, your monthly mortgage, not including taxes or homeowner's insurance, would come out to be $1,439.78 a month. Now let's say you decide to wait to buy and the rate jumps up by 1% by the time you're ready. That $350,000 house with 5% down and an interest rate of 4.21% would come out to be $1,627 with 93 cents. A rate increase of just 1% would increase your mortgage by $188 a month. And let's not even talk about what that increase would be if we went back to the average rates of the 1980s. Okay, so I did the math just for fun. So in 1980, the same exact scenario would take your mortgage payment up to $3,600 a month. The moral of the story is, when you're trying to decide if now is the right time to buy and take advantage of the current rates, it's easier to make a decision when you break it down into a realistic number like what your monthly mortgage payment would be. To sum it all up, the more that mortgage rate increases, the less buying power you ultimately have. So your budget of $350,000 could potentially decrease depending on where mortgage rates are headed. Let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to do some one-on-one math to see where your budget sits currently. Quickly recap what I've covered today. Before deciding if you want to buy or take advantage of the low rates we're seeing now, do some math. Your next step would be to get in touch so we can run some numbers, walk you through what is happening with the market overall, and help you determine if now makes sense for you to buy. And before I go, I also want to mention that I'm currently scheduling virtual consultations. So if you want to chat more about this topic or get started with your home search, I'm only one DM away to schedule your buyer consult. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. If you have a favorite local business you love, tag them in the comments so I can add them to my list of businesses to spotlight. And I'll see you next week. Bye.